Well, this morning, a presentation discussing alcohol policies at the state level. Ginger Jeffries is live at Jackie Robinson YMCA with more on this. Good morning, Ginger. Hi, Ginger. Good morning. Yes, they are going to be talking about a couple of policies specifically that have uh, grabbed the attention of lawmakers, of law enforcement, and other advocates here at a local level. The first one is AB 2914, and this one really focuses on uh, infusing marijuana and alcohol. It prevents infusing marijuana into alcohol, and also it prevents marijuana sales from alcohol businesses. So basically, if you own a liquor store, the AB 2914 which is on the way to the governor's desk would prevent those businesses from also selling marijuana. The other one, SB 905, this pertains to a pilot program that's going to be a five-year pilot program if signed by the governor, which would start in January of 2021. And what would happen is there would be special applications that folks uh, who own a ABC liquor license in the cities of Los Angeles, San Francisco, Sacramento, West Hollywood, Hollywood, Long Beach, Oakland, and Palm Springs, those folks could apply for a special application that would allow them to extend their liquor, liquor sales, which right now have to end at 2 o'clock in the morning. They'd be allowed to extend that from 2 to 4. So that list that I just gave you includes every major city here in California except for San Diego. So obviously there is a concern among advocates and law enforcement here in San Diego of something called the splash effect. So even though nobody here in San Diego could apply for those special applications that would prolong the uh, consumption and selling period of alcohol till 4 o'clock in the morning, there's a splash effect that a lot of folks are concerned about. And that's what many things are going to be talking about this morning. Keynote speaker is joining me this morning. Her name is Sarah cooley Brochart with the She's an advocacy manager for um, alcohol justice. So good morning. Good morning. All right. So two of these bills, and the, specifically the one that we're going to talk about right now, SB 905, it has passed our both committees and both houses, and it's on the way to the governor. And your biggest concern, from what I can read about, is this splash effect. Could you ex explain to me a little bit of what that splash effect could be? Absolutely. And yes, this is a dangerous move for not only San Diego, but also, of course, the entire state. The splash effect means that the these cities that you listed, which now include also Cathedral City and Coachella, have been added. Um, they will be creating these liquor licenses, which will be a local decision. However, people have been shown to drive 40 to 150 miles for such opportunities for entertainment. So even though San Diego is protected for now, the very fact that they can go into Long Beach, you've got a big student population here, people will be driving to some of these cities and returning to San Diego County. They will be bringing with them the drunk driving, the domestic violence, the increased crime and assaults that we know over 40 years of research, peer-reviewed has shown this kind of extension of borrowers brings. So that is a concern for San Diego. It's also a concern that once this happens, we know that they'll try to extend it to the entire state. It's only a matter of time that your gas lamp quarter becomes open till 4 a.m. and you've got a lot of great residential there. So, I mean, you've got a mix. You're going to have, you know, assaults. You're going to have, you know, also nuisance behavior. But we're mostly concerned about, you know, people. This is about lives and saving lives. Well, it would also extend the enforcement side. Let's say you're going to have a DUI checkpoint. You're now talking about extending that until 4 o'clock in the morning to our neighbors just to the north and, as you pointed out as well, just to the east as well with the Coachella Valley. Absolutely. And law enforcement has not come out about against this bill. We're not quite sure why. However, we know, talking to officers, that they will have to add an additional shift. And usually they use that time from 3 to 6 to do all their paperwork, to process everything that we know that it takes. And they're going to have to bring more people on board. It's going to cost cities not only those nine that you listed, but all the surrounding cities because that harm will move into other areas. All right. So it is open to the public. This talk is open to the public. It's going to get underway at about 9.30 this morning. Again, we're at the Jackie Robinson YMCA in San Diego. And uh, again, they're just trying to get at the information out about SB 905 and AB 2914, which are on the way to the governor as we speak. Most recently, SB, or AB 2914 uh, was just signed by the Senate on Wednesday or Thursday of this week. So we will keep you posted on all of that right now. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio.